Welcome back, everyone. I am once again bringing you guys bad news. It seems to be a common theme over the last three years, but uh, essentially what has happened is that this morning, I'm filming this on the morning of April 11th, the Department of Justice has announced a new rule um, as to who they consider to be in the business of firearms, thereby requiring a federal firearms license as well as a background check for any firearm that is sold. So if you guys remember, I guess it was probably three or four months ago now, I made a video saying that the ATF had put forth a notice of a rule change, which is something they have to do um, if they want to create law, which is essentially what they're trying to do here. Uh, Congress did not pass this law that I'm about to talk about. They did pass something called the Safer Communities Act or the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, which Republicans did vote for and their names are here on your screen. All of these people need to be gone. Tony Gonzalez right now is being primaried by Brandon Herrera. So if you live in that district in Texas, you know who to support. Branded. Now, getting back to uh, what they're actually claiming here. So they made the announcement, uh, Merrick Garland put out a video, and then interestingly enough, on the Department of Justice's website, as well as the ATF's website, they have four different summaries of what this law will do. And then they went into the actual new rule. And I went over there this morning. I've read about 80 pages of it so far. It's literally, it's 450 something pages long. I haven't read the whole thing, just full disclosure. Um, but the fact that they need 450 pages to tell you who needs to be a FFL, a federal firearms license dealer, to legally sell a gun tells you that it is extremely vague. Again, I've read about 80 pages. It is super vague, and what they're essentially doing is trying to create a dragnet that will make any private sale of a firearm unlawful, meaning that you will be subject to five years in jail or more, depending on the circumstances of the actual crime, if you want to sell your neighbor a gun that you don't like anymore and you're not using anymore and that he has an interest in, potentially. Not always, but let's dig into it and look at a very key paragraph. Quote, there is no minimum number of transactions that determines whether a person is engaged in the business of dealing in firearms. Even a single firearms transaction or offer to engage in a transaction when combined with other evidence may be sufficient to require a license. Again, they have 450 pages of the additional new rule that go into different scenarios when somebody may want to purchase a single firearm for themselves from a friend, from somebody who's in their family, from somebody who's in their state, etc., And that could potentially make them a felon. As you saw there, they don't even have to buy it. Just engaging in the, you know, hey, I'd like to buy it, could be the felony that could put you in prison. Uh, that is what they're trying to do. They're trying to eliminate all gun sales in America, private gun sales. And again, I want to remind everyone that private gun sales have always been legal in America. They've been legal since 1791. We have the recent Bruin decision that says that any restrictions on you know gun sales, gun laws, etc., has to pass the text, history, and tradition standards, meaning if a law is not consistent with the text, history, and tradition, uh, as it was written in 1790, the Second Amendment, as it was written in 1791, then it is an unconstitutional law. Now, unfortunately, uh, in order for this case to be challenged, which obviously it will, uh, this rule to be challenged, uh, it's going to take years to get to the Supreme Court level, if it even does at all. And unfortunately, there's going to be very likely, uh, Americans arrested, jailed, killed potentially, like the, the director of the Little Rock Airport was recently for this very thing that we're talking about here. Um, in the meantime, uh, this is abhorrent. Uh, you guys, I, what I urge you to do is to contact your senators, your congressmen, especially anybody who voted for this, and let them know that obviously this needs to go away because once again, this is an executive agency making up law out of thin air. They don't have the authority to do that under the EPA case uh, by the Supreme Court. So yeah, there's a lot of things wrong here. Again, they think they have the authority because of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, but nowhere in there does it say that they actually have the authority to uh, make people felons overnight just for engaging something engaging in something rather that has been legal since 1791. So uh, again, I haven't read the whole thing. If you guys have and you guys spot something significant that I didn't point out, definitely let me know down below in the comments. I will leave a link to the new rule if you guys wanna read it. It is, again, 450 pages. Uh, you guys can check it out. That will be in the video description. But unfortunately, bad news for you here on uh, this morning. But um, I wanna let everybody know because if we let everybody know, everybody can get active and hopefully we can stop this. We've stopped a lot of things in the past before. Uh, this goes into a Effect 30 days from today, just so. 
So it's coming. It's coming real quick. So that is it, y'all. If you have any questions, let me know down below as well. If you're not following me on all my various social media, that is the place to follow me. Uh, I already posted about this a couple hours ago on my social media, particularly the non-meta places. That is the best place to follow me. Additionally, if you guys are subscribed here, thank you. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button for new breaking news because unfortunately these things happen all the time these days. Additionally, if you're subscribed and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. This email goes out once a month and it just has all the videos since my previous month's email went out. So that way there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes from my content. Additionally, uh, we have a daily deals email. So if you like things like guns, oh no, ammo, optics, etc. anything that if you watch this channel, you're probably interested in. We have eight of those things in the daily deals email. It goes out every day. If the item is in that email, it's the cheapest thing of anywhere on the internet for that particular item on that particular day. So hopefully if you guys follow the email, you guys will save some money because I've already done the price comparisons for you and save yourself some time as well. There's also a good meme in there. There will probably be a meme about this uh, in the next couple of days emails, I would imagine there's going to be some serious memes going with this rule going into effect shortly. So that is it. Bad news for you, but the fight continues. Look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.